<sighs> said, James, I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's just charge this one. You stink. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm sorry, but you stink. <laughs> Guys and girls, we're back again, and I'm just gonna go straight for it as per. Question of the week, and this one's actually a juicy one. Juicier than normal, I, like, I really like this question. The question was, what moment in your life made you realize, turns out rock bottom does have a basement? Rock bottom's got a basement. Mm. Been there. Mm. Oh, I'll let, you, I'll let you tell us after. I didn't even have anything specific. I've just felt that yeah, pain. Yeah, yeah. I'm you sure. Felt that pain. Yeah, I'm sure. As I'm going along, yeah, I'm pretty I'm sure. sure si, well, you, your memory bank is different, so yeah, <laughs> it's different. You've got yeah, stories. Yeah, 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 yeah. Carry on. When I surprised him with lunch after he was hospitalized, he called me and said, "You're so unnecessary." Oh my word! You're so unnecessary. Wow. That has meanings. Yeah, layers. Depending on like, that's when like, uh, you know, when people text you. Mm. And just depending on your mood, you could, you're reading three different texts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, that, 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 like, that whole, you're so unnecessary could be like, oh, you're so extra. Yeah, like, why, are you, why are you making all this effort? Yeah. Or literally, you're useless. Yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah. step in the hospital again. Facts, bro, facts. It depends on the mood. Yeah, it depends on the mood. He was not in the mood. Yeah, it depends if I've eaten that day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> huh. Found my dad dead. Oh, my okay. boyfriend at the time robbed my house during the funeral. <laughs> Ellis is laughing. <laughs> Ellis is going to hell, bro. <laughs> wow. Yeah. During the funeral. During the funeral. Mad. I mean, if there's ever a time to know there's no one home. Facts. You know where everyone's going to be. You literally 100%. know where everyone's going to be. You know exactly it's, where they it's are. It's the perfect time for the perfect crime. Yeah, it is. I called her mum, begging her to help us get back together after she cheated on me. Some people have no shame, bro. Literally. No dignity and no shame. No backbone. No self-efficacy. Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, Facts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't used that word in ages. I know. <laughs> you were gassed. <laughs> you looked at me for like, where's that confirmation? Man says self-efficacy and looked at me like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man knows them words still. <laughs> <laughs> I use that word since probably oh, like first year of uni first or something. Year of uni, bro. They used to say self-efficacy all the time. <laughs> Her self confidence. That's jokes. Yeah, bro, that's shameful. Yeah, that Begged her mum. What's she gonna do? A lie. She just probably, please help. Man's clutching at straws. Talk to her. She's not thinking straight. That's long, man. Had sex with an ex and somehow ended up sleeping on the porch swing. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Facts. Dignity. Facts, bro. Why are you there? I mean, she knows why she went back. No, no, no. I mean, yeah. I know why she went back, but mm. why are you still there to the point where you're saying sleep outside? She just wants Go f home. Yeah, she wanted to be as close as possible. I She's guess. a joke, bro, is what yeah. she is. I knew my favorite porn videos word for word. <laughs> the dialogue. Word for word. Wow. The dialogue is crazy. The dialogue, bro. <laughs> the echoes and the sounds, That's everything. Nuts. That's scary. The little role play they do beforehand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scary. I hours. remember when I was like 14, 15. Yeah, yeah. I had a Go to vid. I think I did as well. Um, but yeah, continue. I remember as one, all I remember about it was some redhead okay. getting back in someone's garden. And the concept of, I hadn't felt pum yet. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the concept of pum outside yeah. was mad. Yeah, yeah. outside. <laughs> in the broad daylight. Yeah, oh, yeah. she a free. Yeah. She doesn't care who's watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I must have watched that 300 times. <laughs> It's nuts to me <laughs> outside. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Um, when I started selling feet pics to people in person. Wow. What? When I started selling feet pics to people in person. Just hustling. Yeah. You want this? Do you want yeah, that? Yeah, I got this. I got this. This foot ting. Three for I got five. Seven of these. Yeah. P. Mad. The girl of my dreams left me. I later found out she was telling everyone I was her gay bestie. Tough. That Sorry about tough. that. That's um, yeah. That's that's actually a, no. I'm actually deep in it. That's that's a that's a new level of pain. That actually is yeah. like hell's got a basement bottom. kind of situation. Yeah. yeah. 
The girl she never said it was my man. Dreams left me. The girl of my dreams left me, and she never. She didn't claim me one time. Once I was her gay bestie, and she's only telling that to the man that she wants. Facts. Facts. Oh. She's only telling it to the quote unquote competition. Wow. A man poured Stella on my socks. <laughs> Oh, okay, go on. A man poured Stella on my socks so I would take them off so we could see my toes. Oh, wow, that's not the route I thought this was going. <laughs> what route do you think? I just going? thought bar fight and he's antagonizing. <laughs> okay. I didn't know this was that chick. Yeah, yeah. Man just wanted to see the feet so he yeah, just poured, he poured beer on her socks and said, take them off. All Stella Artois. Artois all over the socks. <laughs> said, take them off. Take them off, B. They're soaked. Yeah. <laughs> The man licked his lip. They're soaked. They're drenched. They're drenched. Take them off. Dry them out. You know dry we, them off. We'll dry them when yeah. you we'll wiggle your toes and dry them off. Have you ever seen um <laughs> <laughs> You ever seen that video? I feel like I've talked about it before. Have you ever seen that that TikTok? This is like top five funniest things I've ever seen. Where um the bread Is that the title of the video or is this your This is my opinion. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I needed a clarification. I don't this know. This is my why. opinion. Okay, say less. There's one TikTok <laughs> where there's a there's a yeah uh, there's a people at a, um they're at like a pool or something. Yeah. And it's the POV of the guy here. Okay. I'm pretty sure he's asking if he could like give a girl like a foot rub or whatever. Yeah, because you're not there. Can you give me a foot massage? Get the f out of here. I'm not giving you a foot massage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving you a foot massage either. <laughs> Okay. And he's like, oh, can I give you a foot rub? Do you want a foot rub? And she's like, no. So wait, he's got the camera in he's her face? He's facing out like it's a POV oh, okay. from him. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And you can see the foot here or whatever. Yes, and he's yes, like, yes, oh, yes. let me give you a foot rub. Mm -hmm. And she's like, no. Mm -hmm. And then you can hear in the back, it's like, <laughs> oh, I don't want a foot rub either. Yeah. And it pants and it's just like this skinny Asian dude. like, <laughs> <laughs> Waiting, twinkle Waiting, toe. just, I don't want a foot rub either. <laughs> it's the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. Say less. <clears throat> All right, what made you... What moment in your life made you realize, turns out Rock Bottom does have a basement? When I paid for a 50p energy drink with 2p coins. Wow, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, 50, and 50, a 50p energy drink is, is not energy drink. Who has 25 2p coins? Facts. I also don't remember the last time I even saw a 2p coin. Facts, bro. Ah. Jokes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Changing his name on my phone to mum so my friends wouldn't know we still talk. That's low. That is low. And like, That's again, low. like, how can you acknowledge that this dude is such trash yeah. that my friends can't even find out about Facts. this? That's how you know. It. You just know you're doing something wrong. You're doing just everything, everything wrong. You're hiding it from your brethren. That's low. That I could, yeah, that's. But then stuff I'm hiding from you, yeah. it that is like basement level. Yeah. Like yeah. I need help. Yeah, yeah. I need help, yeah. and I, I, I'm 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 in a situation <laughs> that I can't get out of, and I Facts. need help. But you don't know who to talk to. You can't talk to anyone. Yeah, because if I can't talk to you, I'm fucked. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever found out something that I, I didn't tell you or couldn't yeah. tell you, just know I'm fucked. Damn. Look after me. Yeah. Because <laughs> just know, but like as betrayed as you felt, yeah, I yeah. felt worse. worse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair. Wow. Say less. All right. When I had to use the coupons and food stamps at the same time. Oh, dear. That's mad. I remember, yeah, yeah, do you yeah. remember the, um, the McDonald's coupons you used to get like one pound 99 ones? Oh yeah. I used to rinse them in secondary I used to school. rinse them as well. I used to rinse them in secondary school. Yeah, the, you could get like a, if you were lucky, you could get like a Big Mac by a Big itself. Mac meal, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, was it a meal? Yeah, Big Mac meal for 199, bro. Oh yeah, for 199, 199 it was, it was, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, Big Mac meal for 199. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy stuff. Like, yeah, facts. That's like seven pound now. Yeah, it's, it's bonkers, bro. Uh, when I caught a flat tire and then locked my keys in the car, getting out to look out. Getting out to look in, sorry. I thought I locked myself out of my car the other day and the fear, the fear I felt yeah. was scary because like um, my car's got, um, maybe your car has it as well. Like, does your car open if you're just in the area? No. So if you're close, if I'm close to my car, mm. 
um, if the key is close enough to the car, mm. I don't have to unlock the car. I can just uh, open it. I, I, but I've never tried, so I don't It's know. weird. It only works for the door you're closest to as well. It's bare accurate. Oh. So if I'm, if I'm got the key in my hands and mm. I'm on the passenger side, mm-hmm. it will open that. Oh. I can open that door. Sick. Okay. But if I'm on the passenger side and the key is here and someone tries to open the driver's side, it won't open. Oh, okay. Um, it's interesting. But anyway, I had my keys in my bag. Yeah. I opened the boot. Yeah. Dash my bag in the boot, closed the boot. I haven't unlocked the car. Yeah, 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 yeah. Closed the boot. Yeah. Then went to walk to the <laughs> the drivers. Yeah. It was locked. Yeah, yeah. I screamed, bro. <laughs> when I said I was nowhere near yeah. home. Yeah. I was oh. in London. Oh. This was this was on Monday before I got here. Oh, mad. Bro. Mad. I literally in public was like, no, 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 no. In fact, I was yanking a thing, knowing exactly where my keys are. Oh. I was like, nah, 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 nah. This can't happen, bro. Yeah. Luckily, the boot opened again. Oh, gang. Oh, my God. I literally grabbed like- Everything. Grabbed, yeah. grabbed, I, grabbed, I grabbed my bag and I, I lent onto the thing. I was just like, wow, wow, wow. That this could have been, been ugly. Yeah. <laughs> this could have been ugly. ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My one is, um, I think my, I'm calm. If I ever have, if that, that, if I ever get myself in that situation, I can unlock my car with my phone. With the app. Yeah, I can't. Um, I need to take my car to the flipping dealership. Okay. And they have to do some passcode thing oh. to allow it to be unlockable. I appreciate the extra security, mm. but who can be bothered? Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. taking my car to a fucking dealership yeah. to sign an app. Yeah. So my app's just been pending. Oh, say less. But I've been wanting to do that ever since that time I dropped my keys in the I cinema. Know. I know. I had to get my hands and knees yeah, to yeah. find it. <laughs> you did. You did. I was ready to. You were to charge like, the yeah, whole this, thing. You need friends like him, bro. He was not letting me. I was so embarrassed. I was ready to leave my key there. He was ready to leave. And this this car was probably like maybe two months old. Then, yeah, it was brand new. Yeah. You were ready to charge the whole thing just because he didn't want to get his hand in his look for it. We a movie premiere. Yeah, we were in the back. Of it. I think it was Black Panther. Black Panther. It was Black Panther, yeah. And, you know, I, I, and not only is it hands and, my, hands and knees, I had to duck my duck hand under the thing. Yeah. My ass was seven foot in the air. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was livid. And the, the cinema was packed. It was. I was ready to charge the whole thing. I said, I'm, just, I'm just not going to have my car anymore. I was like, that's impossible, James. That's you did impo- say that's impossible. impossible. And I was like, there's no way. I, what's impossible is me getting my hands and knees in front of all these people. <laughs> that's exactly what you did. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> all right, back to me. I've got a few more. You're going to hate this one. All I'm right, okay. anyway. Accidentally flung my period blood. Nope. On my aunt's wall. No, 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 no. After no, no. just having shits the first night. Moving on. That is moving on. Yeah. <laughs> my parents, my parents invited one of my one night stands on a family holiday. Okay, no. No. Uninvite him. How are my parents even witnessing this person? You're a one night stand. Facts. She was definitely like Indian or African descent. Why? Because there's a strange person in the opposite sex in this house. <laughs> it's your fiance and yeah. you forgot to yeah. say something. <laughs> okay. That's why they have the confidence to invite man on like, holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's like, otherwise you don't live here anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. this is your man. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. And I'm facts. surprised you kept him a secret, <laughs> but like, this is your man. Mm, and we're going away. And, and you, we'll, we'll go away together so I can get to know him properly. <laughs> Madness. Otherwise there's no reason for him to be here and there's clearly no reason for you to be here. Facts. Madness. It can never happen. Uh, when my girl got pregnant by the guy I sat opposite work from. Tough. I don't even know how you figure that out, but tough. <laughs> how do you figure that out? <laughs> wow. Literally. How do you figure that out? Wow, okay. I was sobbing in the shower for the third time over a man with no job who lived in a different state. Grow up. Literally, grow bro. Up. Literally, grow the up. Third time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, bro. Come I could be a son of a bitch. Yeah. But if I make you cry three times, it's your fault. That is your fault. Like, why are you coming back to me, bro? Fool me once. I like. I'm clearly bored. Yeah. I'm just having fun <laughs> with my life. I've got no purpose and no. I've got prospects. no prospects, bro. And I'm just puppeteering yeah, yeah, you yeah, keep yeah, coming yeah, yeah, yeah. back. You keep coming back and it's, at this point it's boring. It's boring. I need new meat, I need yeah. new blood. <laughs> you're literally bottom barrel and you're wasting Yeah, and you're moving like a yo-yo, G. I lie, I bear, lie. Bear boomerang it. I lie. Just fuck off and cry. Stop it, man. <laughs> Stop it. Where's your backbone? <laughs> Stand up. <laughs> uh, you, uh, arise. Oh, why are you always crying in the shower, bro? <laughs> cry somewhere else. What do you mean three times? Oh my goodness. Oh God. 
We were so broke, we had to pick up cigarette bumpers. We found a bucket that was always in front of an old person's home. We kept taking them so often, they moved the bucket behind the gates, but that didn't stop us. Oh, they put up a sign saying no trespassing because of but cigarette butts, you know. They were just taking cigarette butts and smoking the tiny little bit the at the bumpers, end. Yeah. From an old folks home. Yeah. There's just been some, a 90 year old's lips are wrapped around that and you're winning. Ah. Yeah, they were willing to do it all, bro. That's rock bottom, my G. That doesn't make sense, Fuhad. I'm just reading what the Take up a different t- hobby. I'm just reading what the public are saying. <clears throat> fell, down, fell down the steps, and at the bottom of the steps was my ex and his new girlfriend. They just walked right past me. <laughs> <sighs> oh, bro, I'm, I, I, I'm not heartless enough to walk past my ex as she just fell down the stairs. And I'm with my new body. I would find a way to shank both of their Achilles tendons. As oh, if walking. you're the ex, yeah, you if fell I'm down the stairs? Yeah, I'm shanking both of their tendons. Yeah, 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 yeah bruv. Because, we're all on the floor. Yeah, we're all on the floor. And only one of us is getting up. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> only one of us is standing oh, up from this. Oh, Can you imagine? I couldn't, I'd be so angry, James. I'd be so- I'll tackle someone. Yeah, because- you can't, there's nothing you can do. Like she will always have that one up. Yeah, yeah, yeah Because yeah, yeah. she's literally seen you at the, your lowest point. Lowest. Lowest. Wow. She stepped over she you. She stepped over you metaphorically and physically. And upgraded as and well. And upgraded and skipped off of, oh. And skipped off with a man. I skipped off with a fucking man. Oh, my days. Yeah, yeah I'm tackling yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tendon's gone. Tendon's oh, gone, my brutal. G. Uh, last but not least. Pretended to fall asleep at his house because I couldn't afford the Uber home. I remember, I think, okay, cool. So my two ones in regards to that. What, to this specific one or rock bottom in general? Rock, okay, to this, that specific one. Yeah. And this is also probably two of my other rock bottoms yeah. is rock bottom number one was obviously when I stole that five from that girl. Yeah. Because I couldn't afford the, <laughs> yeah. the cab home. Yeah. That was kind of rock bottom, but also like, I don't care. <laughs> Are just get fat? me home. Yeah, I know you didn't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. because like it wasn't even rock bottom in the terms of like, because I would any other day I would have walked. Yeah. But I was in Halloween yeah, costumes. Yeah. Facts, yeah, yeah. And I'd slept in at yeah, our house. Yeah. And I'd have slept in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was context like midday. Matters. Yeah, context matters. Mid, yeah. Um, middle of the fucking uh, campus. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not dealing with that. You can't shame me. That's not even, yeah, it's not even rock bottom. It's just yeah. like, I'm not doing this. Yeah, I'd rather steal. Yeah. Which I did. Yeah. The actual rock bottom was. <laughs> The actual rock bottom yeah. was like, what am I doing? <laughs> okay. Was one, I did a one night stand thing yeah. with a girl who was not attractive. Okay. I must know this story, but I'm trying to think who. One, she was not attractive. Okay. Two, it was in the middle of the winter and she was wearing a short skirt on the night out. Okay. So when I was clapping cheeks, the ass cheeks and the back of the leg were freezing. And it was <laughs> the worst thing. It was like banging a bowl of overnight oats. It was just <laughs> cold and horrible. Oh, wow. So not only was she objectively unattractive. I'm trying to deep. This is essentially cold pum, as far as my tool can tell, which is impossible. <laughs> so it just didn't know how to act. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She didn't have any lamps or anything. It was pitch black. <laughs> You couldn't see your hand here. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. So the only impetus I've got is noises. No, no, no. Noises see, and no, cold cheeks. No, you could have been clapping anyone. I could, ah! You could have been clapping anyone. It could have been clap, clapping silicone. Yeah, yeah, Bro, yeah. it was awful. And I remember being in it thinking, this is the worst I've had. <laughs> being in it. I was in it thinking, this is the worst I've had, bro. Was it, was she deaf? Well, the mum deaf, was it? <laughs> no, she was, the mum wasn't deaf. No, no, no. That porn was sublime. <laughs> but... <laughs> That one was sublime, but the whole scenario was rock bottom. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so wow, okay. <sighs> yeah, nah, that's a different one. Um, <laughs> that's another story. This one, this one was just rock bottom. Yeah. And in the morning I woke up mm. hungover. Yeah. I had no money in my mm, account mm. and no way of getting home. Mm. I bailed Tobes. Oh yeah, 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 I yeah. I bailed yeah, him yeah, when yeah. she went for a piss. Yeah. Bailed him and said, fam, I need you to send me money. Yeah, don't ask me questions. Yeah, yeah. fam, don't ask me questions, please. Yeah. I need you to send me money now. <laughs> and this is why 
he was the only one I could trust to call. What? Because you would have asked me questions. He would have asked me questions. Jay would have asked me. None of you man could be trusted with that level of confidence fair. in that urgency. Yeah, Tobes fair. is the only one I could trust to say cool headed yeah. and send me the money I the needed. Cool headed is the word. <laughs> cool headed is the word. Yeah, Toby yeah. was the one who was cool headed yeah, yeah, and yeah. I knew he always, his pockets were always lined Four, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. always has paper on it. He always has he, money on it. Yeah. So I said, fam, please send it to me now and I'll give it back when I can. I've got nothing. I've got nothing, bro. He just said, no sweat. Yeah, yeah. He said, yeah. no sweat, G. He just giggled in that Toby little giggle yeah, yeah, and yeah. said, I got you. Send it in minutes. I built a taxi. At, oh, God. I built a taxi immediately, bro. Yeah. Got home and threw up. Oh, swear. Got home and threw up. Mm. I was like, oh, what is life? Yeah. I then remembered I had a PT client. This is Saturday morning now. Oh, wow. I've got a PT client in five minutes. Oh God, no. I was like, rah, 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 rah. Oh. Quickly got changed and showered. Yeah. Went to dive in the car. I drove my car the night before. I drove my car the night before. So it was off ends? Car was off ends. No. I had to run to work. <laughs> Because <laughs> I could have called Toby again. I had to run. I mean, he drove. Run. I had to run, bro. That's so funny. In winter. No. I had to run in shorts and a t-shirt. I had to run, bro. And I was, de I was delirious because I was hung over, bro. I ran all the way there. As soon as I got in, I got in there like 20 minutes late. My client was like, where have you been, bro? I was panting, I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said, I'm sorry. Oh. Let's get to it, let's warm up. <laughs> Fam, we warmed up for like five minutes. Oh. Oh. I said, James, I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's just charge this one, you stink. <laughs> Fam. <laughs> she said, I'm sorry, but you stink. Let's just do this next week. No. Fam? No. I said, raw. I said, I'm so sorry. That she is said, wrong, boy, Fam, bro. she said, it's fine. I went into the PT office and sat, sat on the chair. Sat on the chair and it was a spinny chair. Yeah. I spun and I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing, bro? I don't have enough money to support myself. I'm running to work like a madman. And my clients are saying, I'm not doing this with you. Because you smell. You stink of alcohol, bro. I said, I ran. <laughs> I don't think you understand but, the visual. Yeah, I ran. I, in my head. I ran the whole way. <laughs> oh, Only for her to pie me. All for a sloppy, wetty nut. <laughs> it's not worth an it. An ice cold nut, this was for. <sighs> I'm risking my career for an ice cold <sighs> Three oh. out of ten nut, bro. Oh in my In the pitch black. Yeah, see, that is... And now I owe Toby money. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm worse off than when yeah. I started. Yeah, you're down. Yeah. Fuck. I owe Toby money and I owe this client an extra session. Oh, what yeah. am I doing with myself? That's a terrible day. Wow, bro. That's hilarious. It was one of the worst days of my life. That's terrible. And I had to walk home. Of course. And then how did I get my car? How was I getting my car, bro? I had to ask my brother to drop me, bro. Oh, no. Oh God! On his timetable. Yeah, facts. Not yeah. when I needed it. Yeah, yeah, On his yeah, timetable, yeah, yeah. bro. Facts, facts, facts. Oh, it was it was the worst, bro. <sighs> that is funny. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I needed that. Jesus Christ. You're fucking welcome, innit? <laughs> it was the worst thing. Anyway, guys, welcome. Mm. Welcome to episode 301. You might be thinking, oh, I wish I saw episode 300. I wish I got to see episode 300. Well, you can. It's not too late. Three All you need to do is head on over to patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs. And from there, you need to donate, contribute, pay a very humble three pound a month. 10p a day. Just quickly run the P to S and G and indoctrinate yourself into the cult babies. Be one of our babies. That's all we ask. Be one of our little cute little paying little babies. I lie. And you will reap the rewards. And daddy's going to look after We're you. We're going to look after you. Your daddy's going to look after yeah, you. And... Um, it's cheap as chips. It is cheap as chips. Cheaper right. than chips. Facts. Um, so head on over there now, guys. And while you're there, you can enjoy three and a half years worth of content. Mm -hmm. Unedited, unscripted, no ads, nothing. Raw. Come up, raw dog over mm -hmm. there. And while you're at it, you can also join our sensational Discord channel where all the other cult babies congregate and chat about what's going on this week. Facts. Weekly catch-ups, daily catch-ups, chirps in. 
lips in, grips in, funny, funny, yeah, man. all the above. If you are watching us on YouTube, make sure, please. Make sure, please. as of now, That's by the time this drops, we should, yeah, we're on, as, as of recording right now, we're at 898. Hopefully by the time this nice. drops, we should be on the 900 club. And then it's the final sprint, bro. It is the final hurdle. Guys, bro. we've been talking about it for a few months now. Yeah, We're yeah. coming up to the final sprint. That one M. The last 100 meters, bro, is Literally, where it counts. The last lap, man. We need that gold plaque. Get us there. Yeah, we need that gold plaque, please. Come on. Come, Come on, guys, Come on. please subscribe mm. to the channel and help your boys hit a million subs. Facts. That's all we ask. That's like literally said, all we ask. And once I've we hit a million, we won't talk yeah, about it again. Fam, I've said it. We're not going to speak about it one we more won't time. We will talk about it again. That's We've landed. We Facts. Facts. We've landed. Mm, right, guys. Want. And before we continue, we have a special announcement to make today. Special announcement. Your boys are getting into the reaction game content. <sighs> Wow. Or the reaction are. content game, whatever you want to call <clears throat> it. Whatever you want to call it, it's funny. It's funny. So, you know, your guys specialize at this. Facts. You know, Shizinga specialize in the reactions. Facts. And for some reason, we've never made a reaction channel before. We've stayed in our wheelhouse mm. because we're, we're new here. Mm. We're nervous. Mm. We don't mm. know how these man, mm. these big man in the game always have reaction channels. Yeah, but Just they're navigating ke, 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 different, ke. yeah. And everyone's like, you should do that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, and it's something, we're a bit <laughs> nervous, we're a bit shaky, but you know what? We did it. We did. We did it. So please head on over to Shits and Gigs reactions channel right now. Reserve. There should be whatever Their you need. popping up. Popping up, bio, all this. Mm. Head on over to our reaction channel, guys. Yeah. Head on over to the reaction channel and enjoy our first episode facts, over there. Facts. Subscribe uh, to that as well. Oh God, subscribe, subscribe to that. Subscribe to that as so well. So while you're helping with this, this one. Let's start on that let's one. Let's start on that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, Let's get the, like, I want to yeah, see yeah, the numbers yeah, yeah, rise. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to see that live count literally do brrr. Yeah, let's actually for see. fun. Let's just see if we can just break records. Yeah, and this is on. Oh, do you know what okay, we say? Okay, 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 guys, okay, okay, guys, 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 guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do something crazy and hit like hundred k subs in a day or something. Let's do something actually bonkers like that. Yeah, guys, just do us a down favor. You, you man, just do us. Just do us. Actually, just do us a favor. Facts, facts. We don't ask for much. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just ask you to show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't ask you for much. If you like reaction channels or not, I don't care. Do us a favor and just subscribe to that one because it would be so sick. Yeah. If next week when we come on here again yeah. we were like oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. you get to see our reactions yeah, about yeah, yeah. that reaction yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. you know there you go let's try and get a crazy number of subs in yeah. like uh, the first week yeah please oh guys that'd be so fucking sick 100k would be crazy that, okay that's a bit too much <laughs> I said it first and then yeah. I like I, I hope you'd ignore it but you've reiterated it and now I'm nervous <laughs> but if we did yeah you man that would be um, unbelievable that would be unbelievable that would be unbelievable I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 10K. 10, I knew you were gonna say 10. I'm gonna say 10K. Conservative 10. I'm gonna, I'm bougie, because I know you man are gonna listen to us and help us get this subscription. I'm gonna go for a young 25. 25K? 25K. In the first week? In the first week. We'd be bad bitches if yeah. we could do that. Yeah, yeah, we, we could. If we can get the reaction channels to 25K in the first week, we'd yeah. be bad bitches, yeah. bro. Yeah, help us. So please do that, guys. Yeah. Head on over to the new channel and subscribe to Just that. Subscribe. I'm actually very excited yeah, now. Yeah, same, I'm same, actually same, very excited, same. bro. We, we won't know until we know. Oh, no. It's live reactions. Literal live wow. reactions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Definitely head over there, guys. Head on over to the reaction channel, guys. Enjoy. That one was fun. Mm. It's a new style of content. It's a different set. Completely different um, set, yeah. And yeah, man, we're going to be banging them out every Wednesday. We are. Those, those episodes yeah. are going to be dropping every Wednesday. So now you've got the juicy Monday episodes and head on over to the reaction channel every Wednesday, Is guys. There? Right. It's time. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming, mm. guys. Rem is back in the building after his slight hiatus. Mm. And we are here for top five. Top five. Top five. Everyone go. grab your boards, grab your pens, and let's do it. I know you guys have missed it. So yeah, man, let's go. <gasps> oh, it's been right, a minute. Guys, everyone got their boards, everyone got their pens. Top five this week is top five fastest land animals. Oh my gosh. Okay, I wasn't, I didn't know you were gonna say that. Top okay. five fastest land animals. And as per guys at home, write in the comments what you think. And when you're locked in, let me know. Can I, oh, uh, I'm prepared for the answer to be no. <clears throat> I'm listening. I'm happy to screen record just for physical evidence. I can't remember the name of the animal that I'm trying to think of. If I screen record me Googling just the name of that thing, and not doing anything to do with fast or anything like that, just so I get the name of the thing. Is that allowed or no? How, but if you forgot the name, what are you going to type in? I know how to get it. 
I, I, I can't say that because I don't want to give yeah. it away what I'm looking for. Yeah. But I will show you the screen recording yeah. afterwards. You can show me now. I'm an adjudicator. You're an adjudicator? Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. It smells fishy. <laughs> He's an adjudicator. He's a judge. It might not even be in the top five. Uh, I was going to just Google this because I know it's the main... Uh, that one there. It's the main one. Okay. Does that make sense? I know what you're trying to tell me, but I don't know what... Okay, yeah. If it doesn't, <clears throat> it will come up in the first like five okay. options from less. that. Uh, that. Okay, say less. That's cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fair, right? That was fair, that was fair. All right, cool, 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 yeah. cool, cool. I've done random ones. Right, okay. Locks? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> cool. I feel like this is <clears throat> gonna be a trick question, you know? Why? Mm. I feel like, so basically for context, mine are all completely different animals. Okay. And I feel like it's just gonna be like, different species within the same okay. group, animal group. I okay. hope not. That would be really disappointing. We've been disappointed many a time. Oh, of course. This is, this is fi <laughs> Philo's game. the fuck ever? <laughs> <laughs> Ellis, give me your five, please. Cool, so I've gone for cheetah, elephant. You might not think it, but they're fucking fast. Are you, Fair. Are you, when was you last chased by an elephant, bro? Oh, last week. Um, <laughs> gazelle. That's a shout. Horse and, and a bear. I hope you don't have to do like specific types. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, nah, cool. I, I was gonna say. Like, if, nah, he's not, asking for, he's not asking for breeds, bro. Yeah, or that's what I'm feel. jumping over the cameras, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, Rem? Uh, cheetah. I've gone for dog. Whippet specifically. Um, giraffe. Rhino. And horse. Jimmy? Okay. I did cheetah. Greyhound. Gazelle. Oh, Gazelle's a shout. Mm. Gazelle's the one I had to Google, by the way. Oh, oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah oh, wow. Yeah. Right. What, what was in your mind? Well, what was your thought process to not being able to get to Gazelle? I just couldn't remember the name. I just knew what it looked like. Oh, yeah, I just okay. couldn't remember the name. What did you have to search? Yeah, how did you? I, I typed in what a lion's hunt. I thought you were going to, I thought you were going to say Lion something food. like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's literally what I typed in. It literally is what you typed in. It literally is what you um, Hey, you got two more. Cheetah, Greyhound, Gazelle, Horse, and Polar Bear, I put. Oh, I'm taking an L on Gazelle. That's, <clears> them <throat> motherfuckers it's gotta be there. It's gotta be there. It has to be. Mm. All right. I actually hear kangaroos are pretty fast, actually. Oh, God. Ellis, yeah. you've gone Cheetah, Elephant, Gazelle, Horse, Bear. Rem, you've gone Cheetah, Dog, Giraffe, Rhino, Horse. Jimmy, you've gone Cheetah, Greyhound, Gazelle, Horse, Polar Bear. I'll tell you what. Okay. Number 10. Ranging from 50 miles to 80 miles an hour. To 80? Yeah. Fucking hell. Well, kilometers, not miles. Sorry. Oh, oh sorry. my God. Kilometers. That's impossible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no Literally. way. Kilometers an hour is a hair. Oh, damn. Good shout. Yeah. Number nine. Same range, 50 to 80. Gazelle. Shit. Mm. Shit. Ooh. Number eight, a black buck, also known as an Indian antelope. Oh, I see now that's family. So I'm telling you, yeah, bro, bear of them are going to be, yeah, I think it's, it's going to be cats and deer. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Cats and fucking deer is going to be all five. Mm. Number seven, the cougar. Oh, yeah, cats. Yeah, there we go. Number six, a lion. Oh, cats. Number five. Top speed of 80.5 kilometers an hour, a blue wildebeest. Oh, wow, okay. What the hell Fair. is that? Wildebeest. Wow. wildebeest. Just wildebeest, bro. You know what a wildebeest is? Lions hunt that too. Lions hunt that too. Do you, remember you... The li do you remember the Lion King? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you remember the stampede that like killed yeah. Mufasa? Oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, you would know it'd be more to be specific. I have to relate to Lion <clears throat> King for you to get it. Fuck's sake. Uh, number four, top speed of 88 kilometers an hour, a springbok. Is that a type of deer? Uh, it just springboks and national. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, they're like yeah, they're smaller gazelles apparently. Here we go. They're <laughs> smaller gazelles apparently. Yep. Yeah. Number three, top speed of eighty-eight point five, is a pronghorn. Is that a type of fucking gazelle as well? If it's a cat or a gazelle I'm walking up, <laughs> it's a type of antelope. Yeah, bro. It's, it's the same antelope. shit. Same shit. Deer and cats, bro. Number two. Top speed of 96.6 kilometers an hour, an ostrich. 
Ostriches are fast. Yeah. Oh, ostriches are fast. Tell, and then we've got a cheater at one. So no one got any no in the one top got 10. Anything but cheater. Number one, top speed of 120.7. Cheater. We all got one. So you all got one. Uh, yeah. So wow. we all got one. The next closest was me and Alice, Alice with, with Gazelle. The gazelle. Yeah. yeah. So we do a tie break. So you're on a tie break. Yeah. Is there any more after 10 or is it just top 10 you got? Um, I can go on to 11 is a wild dog and only Rem said dog. I said Greyhound, if it counts. Yeah, you did say Greyhound, but it's not. The wild dog doesn't, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Number 12, which one of you said not in here, kangaroo. Damn. Who, do you, who said that? Someone's, you said kangaroo in it. Yeah. Number 13. <laughs> Is a horse, and you both said horse. Fuck. Okay. Wow. Jesus. This is intense. And number fourteen, which only one of you said. <gasps> only one of you oh, said number fourteen. God. I didn't even. I didn't even deep this. It was Ellis, wasn't it? I don't know. Was it? Shut up. It was gone. It was Ellis. You said elephant. Yeah. You said greyhound. Yeah. Greyhound. It's gotta be Greyhound. Greyhound isn't it? Isn't it? it could be a bear though, we never know. <laughs> it's not a polar bear. Hurry up, bro. Where is it? Oh it's my not God. a polar bear. It's <laughs> Greyhound. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> GG's, GG's, GG's. I love just dangling everything. Bro! <laughs> you might get some when you said you said elephant, I was thinking, no <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. 70 miles an hour, top speed of a Greyhound. Oh, damn, man. Yeah. So, oh, miles, kilometers an hour, sorry. Damn. Yeah. Fair play. So yeah, that's top five fastest land animals going. So me and Rem even now. 662. Six, six, you are. 662. Six, 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 yeah. Oh mm. boy. It's getting tense. It is. I've got one. I, re I already know which one I'm going to do next week. Okay, Peng. It's, um, it should be fun. GG's. Well played, guys. Yeah. Well very played, decent. Indeed. Well played indeed. Right, guys, let's take a very, very, very quick break as we need to keep the lights on yes, in sir. this building. Right, so I'm going to talk to you very, very quickly, ladies, specifically about Manscaped, okay? Come on. And in particular, the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0. This package has everything you need to prepare for that summer bod. Whether you're gifting it to your man or using it on your bikini line, mm -hmm. let's keep your bush tame with the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer let's go their package also includes the weed whacker ear and nose hair trimmer hair trimmer sorry i know some of you ladies pretend like they don't exist but they do <laughs> we've seen it and we're not pleased <laughs> the crop preserver ball deodorant i'm swear i'm sure the good girlfriends out there like to satisfy their man from head to toe mm. keep him fresh with the ball deodorant and the crop reviver toner as well as those silky soft performance boxer briefs and a travel bag to hold all your goodies guys all you need to do for this bundle of joy is head on over to manscape.com and for 20 percent off and free shipping just use the code sng sierra november golf and enjoy yourselves let's get back to the episode um right before we move on to the dilemma of the day yeah I actually have <clears throat> some, like a story, not story time, but like a bit of a story to give context of flowers that I want to give to you. Mm, I blocked my phone, I'm intrigued. I'm, <laughs> I'm tapped in, I'm locked oh, in. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> <laughs> right, so I would like to give Fweg some flowers today. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Because <clears throat> you, sir, are a man of integrity. Okay. And I'm going to give a story all the way back and then I need to remember that we will eventually land on how you have integrity. <laughs> like say less. Because the story has fuck all to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to forget why we're talking. Say less. I'm going to say stuff and forget why we're yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You man remember, please, if you had integrity, just put those yeah, two yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, cool. Because I'm going to be lost in your story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. Um, yeah, wait, let me slurp water. Hang yeah. on. Okay. So basically, mm -hmm. a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, I got... Um, a DM, right? Mm -hmm. From someone I went to school with. Mm -hmm. And I haven't seen her in years. Okay. Years. Okay. And <clears throat> she basically sent me a message and said, oh, I'm getting married. Mm -hmm. um, and I haven't seen you in a long time. And um, I'm getting married abroad. Mm -hmm. But when I come back, I'm going to throw a party. Basically, I'm assuming for all the people 
that didn't come to the wedding abroad. Okay. And I was, I'm assuming the people that did come as well, but yeah, just like yeah, a UK yeah, version yeah, of yeah, the yeah, fucking, yeah, 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 yeah. wherever they're going thing. Yeah. And I was like, right, I haven't, I haven't spoke to this person in so, so long. Yes, yeah. And I said, oh yeah, I'll go. First of all, I'm really nervous about it. Yeah. I'm really anxious about it. Mm-hmm. I would be too. Yeah. Someone haven't seen him spoken to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm super anxious about it because I know it's just going to be a room full of people that I haven't seen in many, many years. Mm-hmm. And it's given me school reunion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. the awkward thing about it is that, especially because I'm from a small town, yeah. the awkward thing about it is that like, it's school reunion, but everyone knows what I do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Every single person in the room knows yeah. what I do in there. Yeah. And they're gonna be waiting to say something to me. Yeah, you've made it and they're bums. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. That's what you're trying to say. I'm not trying to say I'm that. I'm joking, I'm joking. I just had to um, get that out. Yeah. I just had to. Now I'm not going, yeah, bro. You feel like Drake at the Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you made it. Every situation, I'm the bigger eyes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, friend. But now nah, it's going to be, my social anxiety is going to be through the roof. Yeah, oh, fuck me. I already know Through that. the roof. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I'm going to be stood there like this, mm. waiting for people to say stuff to me. Mm. There's no questions to be asked because mm. everyone already knows. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And not only does everyone know, my career involves people already, it involves me just saying stuff about my life anyway. Yeah. So there's nothing really to ask. Yeah. It's just bait. Mm-hmm. So again, that's gonna make me really uncomfortable, mm-hmm. but that's beside the point. Mm-hmm. So when she invited me, I remember thinking about basically back in the day from probably like year eight or year nine, mm-hmm. up, until, uh, up until probably till we left for uni, mm-hmm. me and this girl and not just me and this girl, but my group of friends mm-hmm. and her group of friends were like inseparable. Oh, nice. Group of guys, group of girls, yeah, yeah, inseparable. Yeah, yeah. Nice. No one ever clapped anyone. Like, no, it, it was just gang. Plutonic friendships, gang. sensational friendships. Mm-hmm. And the one thing about this girl, I loved her to death. <clears throat> and I was probably, at one point or another, I was closer than with this girl than I was with any other girl. Mm-hmm. I would go to her house all the time. Mm-hmm. We would all have sleepovers at her house mm-hmm. and shit. Her mom was the nicest and it was just cool. She had a trampoline in the back, no one else did. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> no, one so else I, no one else did. I was, I, I was up in there. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But anyway, we had a really, really, really good friendship. Yeah. And I remember one of the things with this girl, one of the traits this girl had that I hated at the time was that she, and I, I've realized later on in life that a lot of girls have this. And some guys have it, but it's more, it's more like prominent in girls. Like when girls get into relationships, yeah. they're willing to cut off everyone. Yeah. And there was a running theme with this girl and it used to break my heart every time she'd do it, mm. is that when she'd get into a relationship, she would cut the guys off. Mm. Out of respect for her boyfriend, mm. she would cut the man them off. Mm-hmm. And we just weren't her friend anymore. She'd say we were friends, yeah, yeah, yeah. but she weren't moving yeah, like we were friends. She wouldn't talk to us out, anymore. Yeah, we're not allowed yeah. to come to the house anymore. Mm. Like don't be texting her out the blue anymore because mm. it's sus and all mm. this kind of shit that she would do to pander to her relationship, yeah. which I can understand, <clears throat> but it used to break my heart. Yeah. And then every time they should break up with a boyfriend, she'd back invite us back, we're yeah, back to normal. Yeah, yeah. And then we'd be normal for like a year mm. and then she'd get another boyfriend <clears throat> and it'd be the exact same thing yeah, all over again. Yeah, yeah. So I was just like losing my friend, gaining yeah. my friend. Wishy-washy. Yeah, wishy-washy yeah. friendship, but it used to hurt me. So sometimes, and then in between between boyfriends, I'll cuss her. And <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> but I was being serious, but mm. she would think it's a joke. Mm. And all the men will cuss her and she'd be like, oh, shut up. Like, what am I supposed to do as a yeah, boyfriend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, it would fucking hurt me. Yeah. Um, and I, when she, I forgot all about this until she messaged me the other day. Mm. And I was like, obviously water in the bridge, I don't care. Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, but it just reminded me. Mm-hmm. And I had another friend that you know, okay. who is like that as well. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, <clears throat> she cuts me off every time she yeah, has a boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What makes it, I remember what made it worse. We spoke like maybe a year ago or whatever. And I brought it up. Mm-hmm. And to, to said person? To said person okay. was speaking. Mm-hmm. Um, she called me out of the blue, whatever. And we we're speaking and I brought it up. And what made it worse is that she made the fact that now because of who I am, mm-hmm. she definitely ain't telling her boyfriend that we're friends. Mm-hmm. And it hurt me even more. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, this is bullshit. Yeah. Because me and this girl at a certain point were very, very, very close. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. It's, hap- it's only happened to me personally with those two girls, mm-hmm. but I know it happens a lot. And I was speaking to someone the other day and they told me like a proper, like serious story about how it happened to them. Mm-hmm. They had to like, the person that was cutting them off had to actually break it down. Wasn't even doing it like subliminally or anything mm-hmm. like that. Actually had to like physically break it down to them mm-hmm. and be like, I'm sorry, yeah, but this is how it is, and my partner's not comfortable with this friendship. Yeah, and these these two people were like, again, inseparable, yeah. like brethren, brethren. Yeah, and it's like 
it's just not gonna run and it's causing friction in my relationship and I'm sorry, but you're out kind of thing. Cause I want this relationship to work. Damn. It's tough. Ooh, sounds it. <sighs> so when I was thinking about this thing that happened to me with these two girls that I was mm. friends with and I was thinking about the story that this person told me yeah. that happened to them. Yeah. And I was thinking, you know what, yeah. First of all, it actually pisses me off that people are willing to do that. Mm. And I understand why they're willing to do it. Yeah. But like, for me, it infuriates me so much because it's like, I would never forgive the person who's willing to let me do that. Mm -hmm. So if I had a girlfriend mm -hmm. and I had a really, really close female friend, mm -hmm. completely platonic, mm -hmm. and the girlfriend said, oh, I'm not comfortable with this relationship. Mm -hmm. Bear in mind, this, I've been best friends with this person for years mm -hmm. and we're cool and nothing's mm -hmm. ever happened. Da, 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 da. Like her uncomfortableness is, is purely her problem. Mm -hmm. Like I haven't done anything. Mm -hmm. And if I was to explain how serious this friendship is to me, and then the girlfriend turned to me and be like, well, I'm not comfortable with it. Yeah. So I want her out of your life. Yeah. If, the, if she then let me cut her out of my life and then just sat there and let it happen, mm. she's not the person I even want to be with. Facts. <clears throat> like yeah. you're a selfish bitch. Yeah. Like who are you? Like yeah. you're willing to actually let me like cut limbs off my body yeah. just because you're uncomfortable. Yeah. And then once it's done, like what? Like mm. where's the cons where's, where's the consolation? Like yeah. what, what am I doing? Mm. I'm just without a friend, and you're just like, mm. like it doesn't matter to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but anyway, so all that, all that, it made me deep. And then I started thinking about you, mm -hmm. and how I realized that in multiple, multiple situations, you refused to change any aspect of your relationship with Bella. Mm -hmm when you guys were living together. Mm -hmm. And I know from you telling me and from her telling me mm -hmm. that like it caused friction in pretty much every single relationship that you ever had. Mm -hmm. And not even just relationship, like every girl that you were seeing mm. and like you were- It could be a situation, it could be- Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. any yeah. situation from one night stand to flipping girlfriend mm -hmm. caused friction mm -hmm. with every single person and you dealt with it like without budging an inch yeah. for multiple years. Yeah. And I rate it. Thank you, G. You're welcome. Thank you, G. I feel like it's 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 weird as well because I think it doubled down because I lived with her as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because a lot of people would never expect um, a single male and a single female to live together platonically and never do anything. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. In some people's world, it's un inconceivable. Yeah, it is inconceivable. I mean? Good use of the so, word. So for me to know it's very doable and be like, listen, this is how... I feel like a lot of people need to live this way and like yeah, have yeah. a lot more friends this way. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Opposite yeah, sex yeah. friends is, it makes a lot of sense. It's gang. It's gang, it makes so much sense. So for you to be so selfish and think, ah, uh, it's not even selfish. I think it's a, it's a form of insecurity. Cause I remember there was a girl I was quote unquote seeing. Um, this was probably within the first year Bella and I um, were living together. Um, she said something along the lines of, I don't believe you. Look at her. She's so pretty. How could you not? Something along those lines. And yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's got fuck all to do with me. Yeah, that yeah, sounds yeah. like a projection on yourself. Yeah, this is an insecurity that you're pushing onto Yo, you're me. You're pushing onto, and it's like- and you want me to bite. Yeah, it's like, I'm not gonna bite on that. Like, this is a friend. I've told you she's my friend. You've seen us, or you've been in the yard when me and Bella are in the yard, you know? Yeah, so yeah, how yeah, can yeah. you assume something more has happened? Yeah, you know? yeah. So uh, it was, it was, it was an ordeal. But I, it was one of those ones I always knew my friendship with Bella would always supersede all these girls I was with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. yeah, man, as as long as I knew that, it was, it didn't bother me if they felt some type of way. Gang, it bro, it really didn't bother I'm me. I'm glad to hear it. And uh, on that point, I'm actually going to give secondary flowers because I've had a well, we've had. There's a female friend that we have all together, mm -hmm. and she's never done it. Uh, Chloe. Yeah, I knew. I think you're going to say. Chloe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chloe's yeah. had. She's not tart, but she's had yeah. a few boyfriends. Yeah. We've had, yeah, she's had a couple of boyfriends in our in our tenure. Um, but we've known her for like, uh, I Best think I met, a decade. I think I met her when I was 19. Yeah, over a decade now. Um, so yeah, 13 years. Yeah. And in all that time, she has never once come close to it. Mm. Um, so props to her. Yeah. yeah. She dates yeah. thugs as yeah. well. Yeah. 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 She yeah. does. Big up Sherlock. Yeah, big up, big up, big up, big up. she dates 
road men. Yeah. So yeah, if you if anyone's gonna do it, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. it's it's her. Yeah. So yeah, props to her, man. She, yeah. uh, she's probably not listening and will never hear this, but <laughs> thanks for that because it actually yeah. makes a massive difference. It does, it does. Because when people have done it to me, it mm. fucking hurts, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you, man. I hear you completely. It's jarring, but um, jarring. and also again, props to Bella for never doing it to you. Facts, yeah. Because I'm sure she dealt with the same shit. Yeah, to a degree. Yeah, to a degree. Yeah, but yeah, I remember there are times they would. She would obviously tell me after the fact, but they would ask her, "Oh, is he gay?" <laughs> and I'm like, "What? The, what the fuck?" Bro? Like, it's very, it's so inconceivable for so yeah, many people yeah, that yeah, a yeah, male yeah, and a yeah, female yeah, yeah, live yeah. in the same roof. They have to be banging. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's just like, wow. Is he gay? <laughs> like, you man are so. You're so fickle-minded. <laughs> yeah, bro. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, grow yeah. Up. yeah, 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 grow up, man. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, facts. Yeah, I think from from the first from the first instance it happened with the first person I was seeing in my first yard with Bella, I was like, this can never happen again. Like, mm. I'm never gonna stand for this again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bullshit. I've told you my truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're choosing to believe what your mind tells you. Yeah, facts. I'm based just, on zero evidence. Based on nothing. Yeah. Based on what you just see. Yeah. And you're you're basically insecure. So I'm not. I'm never dealing with this again. Gang, fair play, so, G. Yeah, well it played. Always, it was always going to be. That. Oh God, right? You've got a dilemma for us. I do have a dilemma, guys. I need your help with this issue. I need some advice. I'm 28. Who was with his ex for eight years? We have three kids. Only one is mine. She already had a kid when we uh, got together, and I took on the role of a dad about three months in. We were together for about four years before she fell pregnant with my son. Then we stayed together for about another two years after he was born. And then we split up for about six to seven months. And within that time, she ends up falling pregnant by another guy. She told me about it. when She, she stays being pregnant. What the fuck? She told me about it when she was five months pregnant. And she was telling me how sorry she was. And how she wished that it had been me all, and all of that stuff. I chose to take the baby on and chose to take the baby on as my own and raise the child um we got back together and only split up last year however this is where it gets a bit complicated the child's biological father is now back on the scene after she promised she wouldn't let him be a part of the child's life now we aren't together anymore she's being nasty and and she, now that we're not together anymore she's being nasty and anything i say is wrong and now it's come to my attention that he was trying to force me out of the child's life and doesn't want me to have anything to do with my daughter. What? And doesn't want me to have anything to do with, yeah, with what is my daughter, sorry, having been the dad for her entire life. My bad. This is, it's been a year? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um, I also feel like she's going to cut me out. What do I do? Let me recap. Uh, he's 28 years old, um, been together with his ex for eight years and they have three kids. One of them is his own only. Um, she had a kid in a past relationship and then three months into getting into the relationship with her um, he got she got pregnant they were together about four years uh, sorry no three months in is when she decided she, he, he decided to take ownership of this the uh, first the you. first you that was her someone else yeah, someone yeah, yeah, else's. yeah, yeah, yeah. four months into their relationship she got pregnant with their son so a month after he's so he's recruited one you yeah he's three months in yeah He's been, they've been dating for 12 weeks. Yeah. He's recruited the first you. Yeah. Said gang. gang. A month after that, she's pregnant yeah. with his you. Yeah. Gang. Yeah. Then how long? Uh, we were together for about, four, no, no, no. So three months in is when she took the role of the first dad, of the first you. That's what I said. Yeah, so about four years after that. Four years, they, I thought you said four months. No, four years <clears throat> after that is when they had their first son. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, then they stayed together for about two years um, and then they split up for about six to seven months. She got pregnant by another guy and only told him when she was five months into that pregnancy that she's pregnant and that she, it should have been, quote unquote, it should have been his, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. Um, back now, she chose to take, um, he came back, they're back together. He chose to raise that third baby as his, um, but they then again split up. It became complicated because the biological father wanted to be back into the daughter's life. Um, and now that they're together, now they're not together, she's being nasty towards him and um anything he says apparently is wrong and she's trying to ask if um basically ask what he's what he should do and she's he said he feels like she's gonna cut him out of the okay line. cool so i've met a thing yeah she's banging 
Yeah. She's got a, uh, she's got a kid. She has a kid. Anonymous age, we don't know. Yeah. Got a kid. Mm-hmm. We've been dating for three months. Mm-hmm. After three wonderful months, I'm like, you know what? This kid's all right. Yeah. I'm having this kid too. Yeah. I've got my girl and her kid mm-hmm. and we're a happy family. Yeah. We're a happy family for four years after yeah. this. It's a long time. Mm-hmm. Four years later, bang, pregnant with my you. Mm-hmm. Say less. <clears throat> so now you're pregnant with my you. We have my you, mm-hmm. sensational. Mm-hmm. We then break up. Mm-hmm. After two years. After two years. Yeah. So now while we're away, I'm, you've got your you who I claimed as mine. Mm-hmm. You've got my you that actually is mine. Mm-hmm. And then while we're out, you're a little something. Mm. And then you, you, you've you got now next man's you. Mm-hmm. So now you've got next man's you. We get back together mm-hmm. and you're saying, look, I've got this you by next man, but he's out of the picture. Mm-hmm. He's never coming back in the picture. Mm-hmm. What are you saying? Mm-hmm. I, who am clearly a mug, mm. takes on this second you immediately. Yeah. Yeah and says, cool, I'm gonna raise it's it us. Own, I'm going to raise it as a, our yeah, own. Yeah. We live like this for a year. Yeah. We break up again. Yeah. So now there's two yous that aren't mine mm-hmm. that I claim and one you that is mine that mm-hmm. I obviously claim. We've broken up, broken up for a second time. Mm-hmm. And during this, she found herself stumbling back to homeboy yeah. who, and now she's saying, brother, I don't think this is going to work out. Yeah. And he said that the, the, the real dad is also saying, come out on my youth's life. Yeah. And he's saying, that's my you. Yeah. And he's like, big man, it's not, chill. It's really not. It that actually is. isn't. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. there's bare use in here. Yeah, yeah. And only one of them looks like you. Yeah, facts. So what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mixed race. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's even Different, your girl, yeah. to facts, be fair? Facts. <laughs> Who's even your wife? Yeah. Um, he said, yeah, what, do what, do? what do I do? She's being vicious. She's going to squeeze me out. Mm-hmm. He thinks she's gonna squeeze. He her thinks out. he's he's concerned that she's gonna mm. squeeze him out and cut mm. him off. I said, this is a situation. It's a tough, 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 tough situation. But actually, there's no but. But I just, I'm and, saying but for lack of a better word. Mm. But this is actually like a gripe for me. Okay. I know guys that like quote unquote step up mm-hmm. have like an aura of purity around them mm. and they're on b- pretty much bulletproof. Mm-hmm. But like, there's risks to stepping up. Of course. There's risks. Mm-hmm. When I, sometimes stuff like this, I never understand when like, uh, guys start claiming youths that aren't theirs mm. and letting the youth call them dad mm. and all this shit. Mm. Like, I understand like, you're a family and all this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But for this specific reason that happens literally all the time. Yeah. Because I told you, I used to live in a block of flats, flats full of council trash. Yeah, yeah. And this shit happens every council day. Council trash. Yeah, I yeah. used to live in a council estate yeah. full of tramps. Yeah. We have nothing better to do than fuck. Yeah, just breathe. Fucking argue. Yeah. So this stuff happened every Wednesday. Yeah. And it happens all the, all the time. The mum gets rid of the dad mm. because he's busted. Mm. The new man comes in. And the youth starts calling him dad the next week. And Scary e- hours. And everyone's like, oh, he's such a man. He's mm. da, 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 da. Then the, the real dad comes in mm. and it's drama. You are now either trying to get rid of the, da- the guy who's pretending to play dad, yeah. or you're trying to get rid of the guy who, who actually is the dad, all because the mom's stressed yeah. that she's got a youth calling two man dad mm. because like she can't set boundaries. Yeah. And it's like, it's damaging, bro. Mm-hmm. Just like you can step up and be involved in a kid's life and be a father figure yeah, yeah. without this <clears throat> whole like, this yeah. is my you. Mm-hmm. I am her dad. Mm-hmm. I don't care who's not made her. Mm-hmm. This is mine and I'm not leaving. Mm. Stuff like that's crazy. Yeah, it's scary. That's very scary. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. And now he's sitting here stressed thinking, I'm not gonna have access. Yeah. Where I'm sure you've already got a ute that's in the yard that's yours. Yeah. So you're gonna be seeing this ute all the time. Regardless, just yeah. take a step back. <clears throat> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just come in and come out and just be there to support mm-hmm. and like overlook and mm-hmm. make sure everyone's calm mm-hmm. in the yard that your kid lives in. Mm-hmm. Plus you've got another ute in there that you basically are their dad. Mm-hmm. Even if you didn't claim him as the dad, you've been with them for fucking years. Mm-hmm. So like six years? In minimum. total? Yeah, minimum. Six years? Yeah, that's that's essentially your kid. Yeah, facts. And then you've got a kid that really is your kid. Just just chill. Just chill with all this dad stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's too much. I feel like it's um it's one of those ones where I feel like he started off he started off on a, like a, on the wrong foot. 
um, because I feel like it's so uneven when you you meet a person and if, if that person already has a child and you don't have a child or you're just living your single life and you start to build a relationship with that person, you already know there's gonna be some form of imbalance with just that one child in mm. the first place. So if you choose to, let's say me, for example, I've chosen to be with a woman that already has a kid. I've, I've chosen to take on any potential headache that comes my way with this, with this one kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I then, you know what, I take this kid as my own. I then want to procreate with my missus and have a kid with her. Okay, we're a family, there's four of us now. I can't, I can't be so shocked that whether we, if, if and when we break up, that she's not gonna go and have another kid with someone else. Purely because, not necessarily because it happened in the past, but I just didn't, I don't know what navigated her to want to have, want to have a kid with someone and not potentially try and make that work out with the first, with the first dad or the first um, father. And now that she's, now that she's clearly like broken up with me and gone, we've gone our separate ways. She's revisited old habits and said, oh, I didn't mean to not necessarily get pregnant, but I wish it was yours kind of thing. Yeah, like, bro. That chat is so <clears throat> telling of the old, her old self. Yeah, bro. What is all that? So I feel like he- It's a good me, point. I forgot me, about me, that. F- uh, I'll use me as an example. Let's say I'm in his shoes. I've made the mis- the initial mistake of playing on an unlevel playing field because if I wanted to, I would only pursue a relationship with a woman that has a kid if I had a kid myself and I was a single parent because I feel like that's the only way we can mentally understand how everything works and how everything can balance out hmm. because it just doesn't make sense in my opinion any other way. Yeah, so yeah. the fact that he broke up or they actually broke up or whatever and she got pregnant again by someone else I would be pissed off, but I also want to be too surprised. And it's like, yeah, I've put myself in this situation. I have to try and now navigate my way out of it. In terms of what sh- what would I do? I would do exactly what you said, James. In terms of, I've already got a kid with her, so I'm never to be going to st- going, still going to be going to this house and still going to be seeing my kid. So I shouldn't have doubled down so much and be like, okay, I'm going to accept this kid as my own. I'm going to accept this other kid as my own. Like, why are you doing this this happy family thing? when you know for a fact it's not, it, potentially there is no longevity in it. Do you yeah, know what I mean? It's always a possibility that homeboy's gonna come into the scene. And it's also also exactly. a possibility that when the kid gets older, even if he didn't come back, the kid's gonna wanna know the other no, dad. exactly. So just full transparency with what's going on. What's all this like ownership <sighs> style stuff? We had, um, we had a, a Zoom call a few months ago. Oh, and Jesus. there was, do you remember? The guy, there was a guy talking about, were you in the in chat as well? Were you in the Zoom? There was a guy saying he, got someone pregnant and he said he wanted to do the right thing. So he just proposed to her. And yeah, he, this was the last one. Yeah, and he just proposed to her, but he was, all, he's always on road and they both did their separate things. But it's like, why are you doubling down to propose to her just because she got pregnant? You can just still be a dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, you yeah, don't yeah, have yeah. to double, like, I feel like sometimes um, people, not even just men or women, people just make the wrong decisions in like, and make, they make the wrong decisions in, um, how do I explain this? Um, just out of the moment. Do you know what I mean? In the heat of the moment. In the heat of the moment, they make when the wrong emotions decision. are high. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's an emotional decision. Yeah, yeah, an emotional, <coughs> they, they make a decision on a, based on an emotional situation instead of stepping out of it and looking at it from a third person's perspective and thinking logically. Yeah, yeah, yeah That's literally. what a lot of people do, especially in like min, 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 minuscule arguments, let alone like mother of yeah, kids yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's tough, but it's also easier said than done. It is. Know? I've I've said some shit when yeah. I'm in love, boy. Yeah, yeah. I've said Every, some everyone shit. Everyone has. Yeah. Everyone says some shit when they're in love. Everyone says some shit when they're angry. Everyone says some shit when they're feeling hateful. Whatever. Things happen in the moment, but I feel like there are times as an adult you've got to understand that raising a child that's not your own. Not, I'm not saying that because it's not something I've ever done, but raising a child that's not your own is always gonna come with complications as long as the father is alive. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. As long as the father it, yeah. is alive. He's gonna come and take what's it's his. It's gonna come, for, come with complications. <laughs> so you gotta be prepared for that regardless of the year it comes. Oh, Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I feel like in the heat of the moment, in the sense of the relationship, in order to please the missus, 
people would just say, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sign those papers. Yeah, bro, this whole, yeah. This, it's all transparency, boy. Mm. The fact that the, the biggest point for me was when he said, now we've broke up, the father of the you is involved, even though she promised he would never be. Yeah. That's not normal, yeah, bro. That's, that's not Why normal. Why are you listening to a woman that's telling you, don't, I promise you this dad's never gonna get involved? Why? Why did you get, why do you not? Why yeah, you, why, why are you, you pregnant by him place? if you're so certain he's never gonna be involved? And also, caveat, I don't know the guy, but why are you out here banning people from being involved in use? Facts. Who are you to start banning Facts. people? Like, so it's... that's behavior that I'm concerned may reflect on me when we're not in a good place. There we go. And now look where we are. There we go. See, it's one of them ones, man. I feel like it's tough because obviously you are in a tough position, but you also put yourself in that position as well. It's, it's, it's hard to navigate. Yeah, you sounded like you ignored a lot of red flags. He, he, he did. I, and that's why I'm saying it's, it's sometimes easy, not necessarily easy to ignore, but like easy to put on the back burner because you think it's not gonna bite you until like X amount of years time. Yeah. And to then when that, that time comes, you're like, fuck, what do I actually do? Yeah, to do? be fair, he's full of red flags as well. What do you mean three months into relationship he's claiming next you? Again, red flag. Bear red flags out here, Red bro. flag. This like, whole dilemma's a red flag. That's what I'm saying, you put yourself in this situation, so it's hard to give you advice when you're out here. You're not helping you're yourself. You're not helping yourself. I'm, try, yeah. I'm really trying not to cuss him. <laughs> I'm really trying not to cuss him. It's hard to give advice. <laughs> Long story short, when you do dumb shit, yeah, 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 it's yeah, hard, yeah, yeah. bro. Because you just got to fuck around and find out. Facts, And that's bro. what's happened, man. You fucked around and you found it. She fucked around clearly yeah. and found out. Let's like, move with some decorum. Decorum and common sense, Yeah, man. common sense. It's, common sense is the one. Like, yeah. let's not claim use that we just, we've just we just met. We've literally just met. Yeah, let's not ignore red flags when women say, I'm prayed by next man, but I promise you, He's never gonna see this you. That's that's that's, that's crazy scary bars. Crazy talk. Yeah, that's crazy, that's crazy bars, so what, bro. So what happens? God forbid we break up. Am I never gonna see my yeah, you yeah, again? Yeah, exactly. Is bro. that what you're telling me? Yeah, that's why he's scared she's gonna cut me out because she makes threats. She makes physical threats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hope it works out, but I've got no more advice. Yeah, just stop doing what you're doing, bro. Factual, bro. Take a step <clears> back. <throat> raise your own child, your son or daughter, and yeah, just keep the pep stepping. Because yeah. Just try and be yeah. a father figure for everyone yeah. without claiming and owning people yeah. all the time. Because now you can't backtrack because you've claimed the first you. Oh, the one the, that's yeah, not yeah, yours. Yeah, yeah. You're so locked imagine in on the first you, you now. You can't backtrack on that. She or he calls you pops now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't backtrack on that and that's your fault. Um, so Cracking yeah. Out. Right, I've got dilemma as well. All right, ooh, let's go. My mother-in-law babysat our kids while we went on a cruise. I left her my ATM card for expenses. We returned and all hell broke loose. Oh. She found our weed and reported us to the police for having drugs in the house with minors at home. Wow. Bro. Wow. DCFS, which I'm assuming is some drug federal something. Services. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DC Department of Child Department some of, Oh yeah, Department of Children. Tri children and fostering services. Fostering maybe. services, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is now involved, yeah, what is it? DCFS, Department of Family, Children Fam and Family Services. Uh, uh, Department of Children and Family Services, okay. all right, cool. DCFS <laughs> is now involved because drugs were found in our home. Yeah. She found my firearm in my lockbox and told police having a gun violated her son's parole. And, and, he, was in the, uh, he, and he was in the Bahamas also parole violation yeah, yeah 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 my husband was arrested when we landed at the airport on top of all that my mother-in-law took 1500 out of my account for babysitting my husband forgave his mother but i can't she calls and visits as if all is well to me she's a snake and wants to take our kids what do i do oh my how has he forgiven his mother bro she sent you to pen how has he forgiven wait who <laughs> Was it their weed or his weed or her weed? First of all, it's Second, their weed. It's their weed. So you're and her gun. Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! 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 I would denounce her as my mother. Of because course. I don't really understand what her agenda is here. Literally, like I know you're trying to do up Good Samaritan, but at what cost? All the cost. At what cost, Big Man? I am your son. I'm getting sent to jail because of you. Like, Literally. and you're coming to my yard next week or whatever, whenever. Just to play with the youth. Just to play with. And everything's no, fine. And she's just coming up there, sorry, but the law is the, the law. law is the, what do you mean the law? Say less, the law is the law. I'm 
I guarantee you, if I sign up, yeah, 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 and will tell me let's if the law dig. is the law. Let's, let's dig. Let's really dig. <laughs> because I know you got some skeletons back yeah, in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, literally. Let's really Le- dig. <laughs> back in Nigeria. Let's really fucking dig. <laughs> because if you want to start sending man to pen, yeah, we can yeah, do this. Yeah, if we're sending people to pen, let's send people to pen. We can really do this because this is the love of my life and my household. Yeah, we're yeah, yeah. And my children. My children are yeah, right I, don't, I don't play when it comes to my fucking children. I don't play with my family like that. <laughs> now, DCFS, am I doing that? No, I don't play with my family like that. I'm sorry. I couldn't forgive her. Yeah, double parole violation. I couldn't. Nah, the bro. Weed yeah, and the gun. The weed and the gun of Bahamas. <laughs> Man was nah, nah, nah. being arrested as soon as I land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nah, would nah, nah. Scare me. Fam? There's feds wave you getting off your flight to find out your mum snitched. I wouldn't know what to believe. James. I wouldn't. Know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know what way. I would up. tell you, man. You man are lying to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would yeah. say, tell me the truth. I know I'm arrested, but tell me the truth. Don't yeah, say you've my got me did. now. Yeah, fact. You've got me. Don't talk Don't about my mum like that. Don't talk about my mum like that. Tell me who told you. Tell me who fucking told you. Facts. Wow. And then you see your mom walking past the office. Nah, I will scream, bro. And she'll just come and say, it's all right, I had to. You know, I had law. to. It's the law, it's I had children. to. They're children. What am I supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? By the way, I took 1,500. <sighs> those are my fees. Yeah, those are my fees. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would have to bail my dad. I would bail him. What are you tell me about her? What's going on? Those are my fees, bro. Nah. <laughs> like, uh, I, wouldn't nah. Be, I wouldn't be able to get the words yeah, out, yeah, James. I'd lose my mind, bro. The actual thing is you'd have to send me to pen. Yeah, yeah, You'd have yeah, to yeah. send me to pen then and there. Because I'd saying. raise my hands, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd raise, because I wouldn't know what to believe. Oh. You'd have to send me to pen because I need to call off. I need somewhere yeah. to call off and it couldn't be somewhere I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'd have to call off. Oh, that's the funniest thing I've that's heard, bro. Mad to that's mad That's the funniest thing I've heard, bro. Wow. Wow, I've not seen that dilemma All before. right, gang. Right, wow. before we finish, I've got one more thing. All right, hit me. It's just like some random breakdown that made me laugh. Okay. Right, cool. Mm. My drunk ass girlfriend said she had sex with over, two, with over 200 guys. She said, um, she said she was a real slut back in college and it made me stop and think. I think I've seen You've seen this? Is it like a mathematical Yeah, thing? yeah, the yeah, algorithm, yeah. bro. Yeah. Four years of college mm. times 365 days a year. Yeah. 200 guys equals a new guy every 7.3 days. Jesus. Since she said 200, uh, well, round it off a new guy every, every day. seven days. Yeah, yeah, every seven days, yeah, yeah. Given that she had sex with a guy on average of three times and an average dick length of 5.5 inches and about 100 thrusts to nut, oh we're looking at 100 thrusts times three per guy times 11 inches, which is 5.5 inches and in 5.5 inches out. Jesus. 3,300 inches of dick per week. 3,300 inches of dick times 208 weeks is 660,000 inches of dick. That's 10.45 miles of dick. Miles. I got in my car and drove 10.45 miles and thought about dicks being laid end to end. And that's how much dick she's taken. She's not my girlfriend anymore. Oh my bro. God, bro. <laughs> I feel like- I read that my eyes wider. Yeah, but I feel like it's one of them ones where Yes, we've got an open relationship, but there's some stuff, just don't tell me. You can't man. tell me that. You can't tell me you were a whore in college. 200 man. That is- Three times per man. That's unacceptable. What is, it's, it's to each their own, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. my own is unacceptable. Yeah, your, your body, your rules. Yeah, your body, your rules, but to me it's unacceptable. Yeah, because Islam, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> Facts. I <laughs> When I die, I need my virgins, uh, yeah. and this ain't gonna get us there. Yeah, we're not patting in heaven. Yeah, yeah. we're clearly not patting in heaven, <laughs> and it's it's a hell thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because and I'm not going down with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Literally, I need. We need to go our separate ways because I need to see the party game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because this is miles, mad. Ten miles, point to point of cock. Ten miles, end to end of pipe. Wow, two hundred guys. Who's keeping count, by the way? Factual. That will concern me the most. Yeah, she's kept count. She's kept scores. She's, she's kept, kept all of this. scores, bro. Because I'm like, I was a slut in college as well. Yeah. 
and I lost count. Yeah. And I actively tried yeah, to yeah, keep yeah. count. <laughs> I think we all did. Yeah, we all did. did. <laughs> and I lost count. Yeah, yeah, After yeah. like 40, yeah. I was like, I, I don't know anymore. I don't even know their names. I don't know anymore. I just stopped counting, There's bro. There's no way she remembers all their names. There's no chance she remembers all their names. And if she does, that's concerning. Oh, if that's the most concerning thing of all time. If she does, that is concerning. She, she said I was a real slut back in college. That's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's not girlfriend material, <laughs> but if it's a first date. Yeah, it's drunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's, that's, ah! that's a green tick right here. <laughs> if we're doing up dirty martini. Yeah. She said, she's getting a bit loose and confident. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, I was a real slut back in college. Oh, the Cena evil thing, yeah. like, oh God, it's so embarrassing. Shut up, man. <laughs> Shut up. Why are you shaming more? yourself? Let's do this. See man. it off and let's go. <laughs> See it <ya> off. <laughs> you get our pinky up and let's yeah, go. If we're talking day, let's have <laughs> day. Yeah. Man. Let's Jesus. just talk about next, man. Let's go. Let's talk. Let's 201. How about that? Oh, God. That's wow. funny, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> but Long. yeah. Damn. Right. Wrapping it up. Wrapping it up. Let's do it. Guys, that was sensational. It was. As always, catch us on Thursday. We will. Patreon.com forward slash, forward slash shits and gigs. Three pound a month. Ten p a day. Join the cult, babies. Yes, Make your daddies happy. Yes, and do not forget Wednesdays. Wednesdays, Wednesdays. guys. Wednesdays. Subscribe over right now. Now right that we're now. done, facts. Go over to the reaction channel and subscribe. Subscribe to that bitch. We need to see five figure subs minimum. Shits right. and gigs reacts. Shits and gigs reacts. Go there. Yeah. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Love, love, love. Bang, bang, bang. Bang.